Do you want to be able to punch faster in boxing? Then stay tuned. Throughout my coaching, one of the most popular questions I've always been asked is, how do I punch faster? Okay? A lot of people are waiting for that secret exercise, the secret technique or the secret method. But here, I'm going to highlight four areas in your training that if you adopt these, then you are bound to increase the speed of your punches in boxing. Area number one goes without fail. When everybody asks this question, how do I increase the speed? I watch their technique and I can always find a fault in their technique. Your technique, your form and the accuracy of your punches is the first thing that you should be working on and practicing. You need to learn the technique of that one punch. For example, the left hook. Learn the technique. Learn how the punch should go out, should come back in, where it starts, where it ends. How do we rotate that body behind that punch? Okay. Then you improve the form of that punch by keep repeating it, keep repeating it, keep repeating it. And then you improve the accuracy when you're sparring to really, really see if you can catch somebody with that left hook. Now, all this can be done with shadow boxing, within the bag work, the pad work, and even when it comes to sparring as well. Okay, we spend time on that one punch to increase the speed of it. So the muscles get used to it more. Okay. Once you got the technique, we learn we, we learn that technique, we practice that technique and keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. So that's the first area that I identify when a person says they want to increase the speed of the punches is show me your technique. Let's correct that first. Okay. Area number two. I like to work on the reaction timing of a person. Okay, once we've got the technique. We now need to improve the reaction time because after all, when you're sparring, once an opportunity arises, we have to react within seconds or milliseconds, okay? There are a lot of drills out there to help you to improve the reaction timing. One thing, one of the exercises I like doing is getting a person to stand behind you while you're on the bag and get them to shout, go, so you punch on demand. As soon as they say go, boom. You've got to explode into that punch, okay? You can't see the person, you can only rely on your heating. As soon as you heat it, you've got to react and punch that bag, okay? There's one you can do on your own with a, a tennis ball or some sort of a ball where you hold the ball out, you drop it, you've got to catch it with the other hand, okay? You can do this in your boxing stance with a boxing punch, throw out and catch that ball. You can do it with a partner where the partner throws a ball at you different areas and you've got to catch that ball as well one of the popular drills that made the social media in the last couple of years was the skipping rope at the on the bag a partner will rotate that skipping rope and you as a boxer got to punch the bag without the skipping rope touching your hand what this works on is the speed of your punch going out but also the speed of your hand coming back in as well so it's a good exercise to work with a partner and increase the speed of your punches so reacting timing is the second area that I would focus on with a client. Area number three is if you want to be faster with your punches, you have to be faster overall. Okay, you have to adopt exercises into your training regime that will increase the explosiveness in your body. Because after all, when you're punching, you are exploding into a punch. You have a burst of explosive energy then fast twitch fibers need to be faster. Simple as that. So there are exercises out there that you should be including into your training. Sprinting is brilliant. That burst of speed is excellent. Box jumps, plyometrics, burpees, skipping, doing double unders, sprinting in your skipping, max speed. These are exercises that you should be doing and you would find in the gym, but a lot of the times, People aren't utilizing these exercises as they should. Another exercise I like doing on the bag is I like to get the partner to explode for 20 seconds on the bag and then rest for 40 seconds. And in that 20 seconds, you're just going boom, punch after punch after punch after punch at your max speed and rate. Then you completely rest for 40 seconds, then we repeat it again. This is what you've got to work on, that explosive energy, that explosive speed and power 
on the bag. So explosive energy overall will help you to get a faster punch. Area number four is an underrated area and often ignored and it's the repeat stage. A lot of people aren't patient enough. People train once a week and expect their punches to be faster. Some people train once a month, expect their punches to be faster and complain why they aren't as fast as another person. Naturally, some people are faster than others with their genetics, okay? But everybody can improve the speed of their punch if we put that time and effort into the training, okay? So what I've highlighted above, your technique, your reaction timing, your explosiveness. Now we've got to rinse and repeat everything that you've learned, okay? There's a 100-hour rule where if you practice a discipline for 100 hours, you will be become much better and competent than a beginner. So what does that emphasize? 100 hours. It emphasizes putting your time and effort into it, okay? So if you want to become faster with your punches, then you train the speed of your punches when it comes to your shadow boxing, your pad work, your bag work, your circuit, your sparring, your running, your skipping. You practice speed, okay? No magic secret exercise technique here rinse and repeat what you have learned and keep practicing until you are happy with the speed that you have got okay i can't stress this stage enough in people practice 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 i hope you guys have enjoyed that video and hope you've learned something and hopefully you will implement this into your training any comments please leave behind any questions please message me or comment on the video I would appreciate if you like and share and subscribe to the channel and look forward to more videos coming out soon. All the best.